This video is sponsored by DistroKid. Follow the VIP link in the description down below to get 7% off an already amazing price to distribute your music to the world. A few months ago, I made a video about what is probably the best free drum plugin that you can get, BFD Player. Since then, there's been some updates with some new features as well as some new expansion packs. But before we dive into those changes, let's just do a quick recap of this free plugin. So our main view is the kit view. And here we can audition the drums that we've currently got loaded up by using our mouse and clicking on the drums like so. Now the drums that you're hearing at the moment are from the core library. This is the free library which comes with this free player. And it's an incredibly versatile kit which you could adapt to the kind of sounds that you're looking for if you want to. And that's demonstrated with the presets from this library. If we just expand it here, we can see a number of presets here. I'll just click on the little play button next to one of them so you can hear the difference in sound. Let's try dry pop. So even with this free kit, you get a lot of variation in sound. And that sort of demonstrates how you could adjust it yourself to your liking. Now, if you click on one of these drums, um, then you can actually go to some options down here. So here I can swap out this snare drum with some different snare drums from other libraries if I wish. Now, if you download the free play with the free library, of course, you're only going to see the core library to begin with. We'll talk about some of the other libraries and have a listen to them a little bit later on. Um, but you do have some choices in the core library. So for example, uh, with the symbols, uh, you can go there and swap out for some different symbols. You can also, once you've selected one of these drums, you can also uh, click on browse here and this is another way of sort of filtering out different drums that you've got installed on your system and swapping them out uh, to be used in the current kit. Now as its name suggests the mixer view allows us to mix the sound of our kit. We've got channels for individual drums and also if we scroll over to the right we can see there's channels for various different buses like a you know a room bus or an ambient bus etc. Now of course we've got the usual basic controls that you'd have on a mixer, faders for the drums, uh, panning controls and of course you can mute and solo them as well. At the top we can see that we've got some overall effects that we can apply as well. They can be quite useful and importantly we can also output each of our channels in our mixer here to a separate channel in our door. So for example for this snare I could go down here select a different output for it to go out to. It will no longer be heard on the main bus here but we can then enable it in our door. That's really useful because it not only means that you could control the whole mix from your door, but you can also add things like third party effects in there. And it's also very useful for things like side chaining as well well so it's great to have that even in a free plugin the grooves view as its name suggests is a place where you can browse audition and make use of the grooves which are installed depending on the libraries that you have on your system it's pretty easy to use as you can see if i want to have a look at this groove here i can click on the play button here to audition it if i want and if I want to make use of it in my door, I can just grab it and drag it off and drop it into my door. And I can further adapt it there, of course, and tailor it to my song's needs. Now, if you've got a whole lot of grooves on your system and you're trying to find something for your particular song, then it's important to be able to find things quickly. So that's why they've got these filters at the top here. So if I want to just uh, make sure I'm only seeing, say, rock grooves, I can click on the rock filter here. If I want to make sure that, um, let's have a look, the timing of it is, is like a straight timing, uh, not a shuffle or anything like that, um, then I can put that filter on. Then I'm only seeing the grooves that I may be interested in, okay? And you can sort these as well. You could sort them in terms of their speed, the timing, um, and all sorts of things there. Now, this feature is not new, but it's incredibly related to the next new feature that we have in this version. So I have a little confession to make. Up until now, I've actually been hiding a part of this plugin's interface from you. So let's reveal that now. 
As you can see at the bottom of the interface now, we have the drum track. And quite simply, we can now grab our grooves like one of these up here and then just drag and drop it into the drum track. So I'll pop that verse in there, for example. Then I'll grab a chorus. I'll pop that in there, maybe a different verse after that. And as you can see, we can go ahead and start building up the various components that we'll need for our song. Now, I don't really need to do a full tutorial on this because it sort of makes sense all by itself. But just in case you can't get it, you know, you can resize things here. You can drag them around to different places. You can audition what you've got so far with the transport controls. All the things you kind of expect to be able to do to build up your song here. Now, the actual tempo is actually set from the door. So this has been used as a plugin at the moment. But in the standalone version, you can set your own tempo and things like that. Now, once you feel that you're happy with what you've got, you can actually grab all of these just like so. Just select them like that. And then you can drag them off into your door, drop them onto the track. And you can do some fine tuning there perhaps using your piano roll editor. Now, before we take a look at the new expansions, just a quick reminder, if you're releasing your music to major platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, Google Play, etc., I highly recommend the sponsor of this video, DistroKid. If you follow that VIP link in the description down below, you'll get 7% off an already amazing price to distribute your music to the world. So it's great that the player is free and it's great that you get this free free core library, but you may find that with specific genres of music, you're going to outgrow that core library. And that's where the expansions come in. They've released eight new ones. I think they cost between 30 and $35 each, so not expensive. And what I'm going to do now is just play them for you one after the other with some short demos. And I want you to let me know in the comments down below which ones stand out for you. So what did you think? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to find out about more free plugins, check out this playlist right here.